Hello, I'm Jill at Ingvid, and today uh, we have a lesson on uh, the word shall. Uh, we've had a few requests uh, to explain when do you use shall rather than will, um, or do you use it at all? Um, it doesn't seem to be used very much uh, nowadays. So this lesson is just to give you a few examples and to explain a bit about it. And even if you don't use it yourself in speaking, uh, it's useful at least to understand uh, the meaning of it and, and how it might be used. You might see it more in writing than in spo uh, hearing it in spoken English. Okay, so let's just explain first of all, uh, shall, um, it's usually only used with the first person, uh, singular or plural. So I shall and we shall. Um, nowadays, it doesn't always sound very natural. It can sound a little bit too formal, a, a bit strange. So if, if I said to a friend, I shall see you tomorrow, uh, my friend might oh, be a bit surprised because it sounds rather formal and a bit old fashioned. I shall see you tomorrow. Uh, because in speaking anyway, um, you would tend to say I'll, I apostrophe double L, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow when you're speaking. And even if you're writing an email to them, um, you'd probably put I'll. And then I'll, it could be I will. Uh, the double L, apostrophe double L, it could be shall or it could be will. So you don't really know when it's uh, contracted or abbreviated whether it's will or shall, but it's probably it's the informal will uh, more likely. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, you might even just say, see you tomorrow <laughs> in speaking. So you don't even use a verb. Um, so that's what I mean about shall. It's very difficult to think of natural examples that people would actually say in day to day life. Um, it's not used a lot. So uh, that's hopefully reassuring that you don't have to worry about, um, oh, should I be using shall? I never seem to use this word shall. Uh, I ought to find a way of using it because it's not actually used very much except in just a few examples. Okay, so so shall is rather formal and a little bit unnatural these days. It, 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 we're much more likely to speak in an informal way with I'll, which could be either will or shall. Uh, but then if you are using it, you need to know uh, how to form the negative. So shall not, and just like will not, but then the abbreviated form is shan't. So ah, it's a longer ah sound. Ah in shall becomes ah in shan't. And of course, will not, it's even stranger. It becomes won't. So the I changes to an O. Will not, shall not, won't, shan't. Okay, so it would be... I shan't. I shan't be seeing you. That sounds quite natural. If you a friend is going on holiday, uh, you might say, oh, I shan't be seeing you for a while then. Or uh, we, 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 we shan't be seeing you for a while. That sounds sort of natural. Uh, but you can also say, oh, I won't be seeing you then for a while. Or we won't be seeing you um, for a couple of weeks. So it's sort of almost natural in that example. Uh, so you could say um, if there's an, uh, an election and the, the results in the UK anyway tend to come through the following day, some people stay up all night waiting for the results to come. Uh, but 
people decide they're not going to stay up all night, they're going to bed, they'll wake up the next morning and hear the results. So you might say, we shan't hear the results of the election until tomorrow. Uh, so that's quite a natural way of using it. We shan't hear the results until tomorrow. We won't hear, we won't hear the results. That's slightly less formal um, and normal, natural, the natural way of saying it. We won't hear the results until tomorrow. Um, but some people might say we shan't, we shan't hear. Okay. Um, I think the most usual way that it's used is when someone makes a, a suggestion or they ask a question about, well, it's a question that's also a suggestion quite often, um, or it's asking for a suggestion. Like, shall I? Shall I book the tickets? We want to go to the theatre. Uh, so uh, shall I book the tickets for next Wednesday? Shall I? So you wouldn't say, will I? So this is a very particular way, probably the most usual way nowadays that you would use shall uh, in this sort of question, suggestion. You wouldn't say, will I book the tickets? That's not quite so natural. Um, and then shall, shall we? Shall we, we're having a party. Shall we invite the neighbours? That's the natural way of saying it. Um, so you're asking a question, but you're also suggesting, shall we invite the neighbours? Okay. And then uh, what shall we have for dinner? Not what will we have for dinner. That's not quite so natural. What shall we have? Okay. For dinner. So this is really the main way it would be used now. Um, and then there's a very formal way that it's used on usually written notices, which is like a command really, you know, like do not or you must, that sort of thing. So if there's a fire escape um, in a building, which has to be, you know, mustn't be blocked, there mustn't be anything in the way of the fire escape. If there is a fire, people need to get out quickly. So you'd say this fire escape shall be kept clear at all times, meaning don't put piles of stuff in front of the, you know, the doors which are a fire escape. This fire escape shall be kept clear, meaning you must keep it clear. It's like a command, really, and the shall is causing, creating a, a sort of command, um, you must, uh, you must not sort of idea, uh, an authority, uh, um, an authoritarian statement. This fire escape shall be kept clear at all times. Okay, so I hope that helps to clarify so that at least if you hear it spoken or you see it written, you'll understand um, the meaning and whether it's a, a strong command or whether it's a suggestion um, or whether it's maybe a, a little bit old fashioned and formal. Uh, it might be an older person who's saying it, or it may be something that was written a hundred years ago or two hundred years ago, where the language was a slightly different style. So um, all sorts of things. But the main thing is not to worry about it because uh, it's not used all that much. And uh, this one with the suggestions um, is the most usual one nowadays. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, thank you for watching and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.